Today I got a quick three card crossover sub back from PSA. Let's do it. All right guys, hope everyone's having a great day. Like I said, we got three cards in here I sent to PSA as part of my last submission. I've got 18 cards with them right now still, but this was a crossover order right here. Uh, so I'm, I left it in the box. I usually take them out first, but this is such a short order. Figured I'd go ahead and do it all in one fell swoop. Uh, three cards all for my rookie PC. They were all in BGS slabs. I had minimum grades on them because you have to. Um, I, I had two BGS 9s that I put a minimum of an 8 on. And I had a BGS 9.5 that I put a minimum of a 9 on. Um, I'm, I'm hoping they all crossed. It seems like they should. So let's go ahead and pop this open and see. I've never done a crossover. I didn't want to crack these ones out. Just figured I'd send them how they were. Got the three of them in here. Just the form in there. And... Uh-oh. Looks like... So those are PSA, I think. Is that a... Yeah, so that's still in the BGS slab. Okay, well, one of them didn't cross. That seems odd. Oh, you guys, is this backwards? Yeah, so this is backwards here. Um, all right, so it looks like the Justin Verlander crossed, which is good. Let's sit that down. And, oh, nice, the Freddie Freeman. Okay, cool. So those are the two BGS 9s that we got um there's a card inside for some reason i guess that's probably the the thing saying it can't cross um but this was the paul goldschmidt in the nine five that's crazy okay so let's see what's in here first and then we'll talk about that so this is oh this is just the card savers with the um yeah okay so you can see here these were the bgs nines that's the verlander and the freddie freeman they weren't strong nines i mean this one had two nine fives but it had an eight five surface which psa doesn't like and uh this one also had a nine three nines including surface so i figured these would get eights um, but you can see this is what would have been the paul goldschmidt i i can't believe the goldschmidt didn't cross that is a it's a true nine five i'll go ahead and flip it because it's already you know the same as it was it's got nine fives all the way around on it so I put a minimum grade of a PSA 9, and they said that they weren't sure this would 9. That seems crazy to me. You're saying a BGS 9.5 isn't a guaranteed at least PSA 9 with all five 9. It's not like there's any 9 subs. I mean, that's that amazes me. I actually can't believe that. So if that was going to get an 8 then I assume the P the BGS 9s did get 8s because I put minimum grade of 8 on these. I, I'm going to assume these are both 8s at this point. Uh, so let me go ahead and we'll reveal these. Um, I don't think there's any way these are 9s at this point. So this is the Justin Verlander 2006 Topps Chrome Black Refractor. You can see they're numbered to 549. Pretty sick card. Glad to have this in a PSA slab. Um, let's see. Yeah, so near mint 8. Wow, looks really good in the slab, though. Uh, don't get me wrong. If these are 8s, I'm super happy. I, I just wanted to cross these over, uh, get all my collection in a PSA slab, but that one just confuses me. So really sick Justin Verlander there. Very happy about that. And then let's check this Freeman out. I haven't seen this in a PSA slab yet either. This is the Gold Refractor from 2011 Finest, numbered to 50. And I got an 8 too. Okay, yeah. So this one had a surface thing up here, like a scratch. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right there. That's on the card. Um, so I figured this would be an 8 anyway. But really, really sick card. 2011 Finest. Really awesome color, especially on the golds here. And uh, Freeman, obviously, being a future Hall of Famer. Really sick one to have. Very happy about that. So so don't get me wrong. I'm happy about the Verlander and the Freeman, even though they're 8s. I, I don't care. I'm really happy about those. This one I'm not happy with PSA about because that's a 9.5 all the way around and it's not getting a 9. That seems insane to me. So um, I think, you know, I actually have this over here from my last mail day. Um, Pete Alonzo. This one's a BGS 9.5 Blue Refractor. This one's got two 10s. So 
I was going to assume this was a, a 10 and had an outside chance at a 9. I'm thinking this is like an 8 with an outside chance at a 9 now because that's that's crazy. Um, I think with these two, I'm just going to crack them out. I know it's a little harder, but I've done it before. So I'm going to crack those two out and just send them with my next PSA order raw as it is because that one not crossing in these getting eights after being BGS nines um, is is scary. So just uh, maybe this is a bit of a warning if you're planning on doing a crossover or something. Maybe you just want to crack it out if it looks good enough and submit it raw, see what you can get. So um, glad I could get these back in hand. These two are going straight into the uh, the vault, into the safe, my, my rookie PC. And like I said, the Goldschmidt and that Alonzo are going to get cracked out and sent in with my next sub. So appreciate you guys watching. Just had a short one here today, but hopefully going to have a bit of a longer one soon with that 18 card order coming back. Um, some big ones in there. So stay tuned for that. See ya. I can fly.